flow into the world and just dismiss yourself from this place and allow yourself to go into the presence of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. One more time in this world. with him until the breaking of day. Now when he saw that he did not prevail against him, he touched the socket of his hip, and the socket of Jacob's hip was out of joint as he wrestled with him. And he said, let me go, for the day breaks. But he said, I will not let you go unless you bless me. I will not let you go until you bless me. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to preach just a little bit on the subject of breakthrough. Hallelujah. Breakthrough. Amen. How many of you are in need of a breakthrough this morning? Hallelujah. Breakthrough. You know, God has been good. He's been so uh, awesome in this ministry and so many great things have taken place this year. Uh, it's just exciting to see uh, the glory of God's weight just rest in the place. Amen. And, you know, uh, that doesn't come without a price. Amen. You know, we serve God and we want to be blessed by God. And we just always want it to be a, a, a good experience. But I'm here to tell you that when you decide to serve God, there's going to be some opposition. Amen. Uh, there's going to be some things that you got to wrestle with. It comes against you and things you have to wrestle with within yourself. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. So don't be surprised of the sudden opposition that comes to get you off track. Amen. Hallelujah. But God wants us to be wise enough. Uh, connected with him enough 
to see the enemy when he comes. Amen. And so we're on the verge of closing out another chapter of yet another year with recorded history attached to it. And not only attached to the year, but attached to our lives. Some significant things happened to us uh, this year. And now we're standing on the brink of stepping into another chapter of our lives moving into 2013. And often when a new year is approaching, it's provoking. Uh, it's provoking because it causes you to pause and reflection and it causes you to have to reevaluate some things in your life and make some decisions. Yeah. Uh, how many of you know that the changing of the season is just, it's not only with uh, uh, time, but it's with a decision. Amen. You can change your own season by changing your decision. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. So you don't have to wait till fall or winter or summer or spring uh, in the spirit. If you want something to be different, in your life, you must make a decision uh, to do whatever it is God is calling for your life. Amen? Amen. And, and so for the most part, a lot of us are really happy uh, some of us that 2012 is getting ready to close this chapter. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I hear you, Pastor. Uh, God's been good. I'm still living, but my goodness, huh? if I keep it real, I am so happy uh, that God has uh, allowed this chapter to pass over my life. Amen. I'm glad this chapter of depression is passing on by my life. I, I'm glad this chapter of chaos and hell and all this drama in my life. I, I'm glad God is closing the chapter to that. I, I, mind and in my body. I, I'm glad he's closing the chapter of my challenges with my finances and with my children. I, I'm glad he's closing the chapter of depression and discouragement. I'm glad that one night stand I had. Oh God, I'm glad. I ain't got to live with that no more. I, I'm glad that is behind me and I can move into 2013. I'm glad I, I can close the chapter on this addictive behavior and this yes. addiction yes. and this Oh God, I'm happy that I can close the chapter on religion because when I came up in here, I was closed with religion. But after I got a taste of this glory, moving this praise, learning how to worship, learning how to pray, learning how to fellowship. Oh God, I closed the chapter on religion. Hallelujah. I closed the chapter on tradition. Some of us closed the chapter on the job. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm done with this job. Hallelujah. in our lives and, and though these were chapters in our lives and we grew from it we learned from it we gained wisdom we cried about it oh god thank you for th closing this chapter in yeah, my life yeah, amen yeah. hallelujah and the word of god says that we can decree a thing yeah means uh meaning that we can set some things in order the, the word of god says we can declare some things uh, we can proclaim some things that come in our lives uh, jesus told us to speak to the mountain uh, yeah. and that the so I want to prophesy to you this morning. You have to begin to prophesy. Proclaim what 2013 is going to be released in your life.
how it happened, uh, what really took place, how you was offended, betrayed, how you was done wrong, regardless of what happened, you're still living. Yeah. Uh, regardless of what they done to you, you're still breathing. Hallelujah. And at the end of the day, that's an indication that God has unfinished, unfinished business in your life. And he's not finished with you. Hallelujah. I got to say it. Been saying it. Got to keep saying it. That I have not seen. Oh, hallelujah. Ear have not heard. Neither has entered in your heart the things. Uh, he deceived his brother out of his birthright, 
as the elder for his inheritance. And later, uh, Jacob and his mother deceived his father uh, for the blessings from his father, which was very valuable in that time. Uh, to receive a blessing from Isaac was just, uh, 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 just explosive. It was just really a blessing to have that covenant passed down to you. And because of his trickery, uh, his brother uh, devised a plan uh, or came up with the thought in his mind that I'm going to kill him. Uh, yeah. Soon as daddy die, I'm going to kill Jacob. 